Dear students, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College. I am happy to meet you again uh, through the video lecture series on the subject heat and mass transfer. And this session, the lecture number is 120 on the module conduction heat transfer. The topic for uh, the discussion today is again unsteady state heat transfer on sphere. So we recap from the previous lectures. So we discussed the unsteady state heat transfer in the earlier two lectures and uh, we used the Heisland Grober chart uh, for solving the heat transfer problem uh, in infinite plate and a long cylinder. So here again, so we will be using the Heisland Grober chart uh, for solving unsteady state heat transfer problem uh, in spheres. And the learning outcome for this lecture, at the end of this lecture, the student will be able to solve problems uh, using Heisler and Grober chart in sphere. So we consider the sphere, infinite solid, we take the object is a sphere. The governing equation for the heat transfer one dimensional unsolicited heat transfer in a sphere is 1 by r square dou by dou r, r square into dou t by dou r that is equal to 1 by alpha dou t by dou t. And we take a sphere of uh, outer radius RO and the sphere is initially at a temperature Ti, the initial condition for all values of R. So everywhere in the sphere uh, at a time T equal to 0 before the heat transfer the temperature, initial temperature is Ti. Suddenly, the sphere is exposed to the convection environment with the heat transfer coefficient h and the temperature T infinity of the fluid and the boundary conditions now at the center of the sphere where r equal to 0 for time T is greater than 0 at the center of the sphere, the temperature is constant. So, the derivative dou T by dou r equal to 0. And on the surface at R equal to RO, uh, there is convection with the heat transfer coefficient H. So, at the surface of the sphere, outer surface of the sphere, minus K into dou T by dou R equal to H into T minus T infinity. So, this is the mathematical formulation of the, the heat transfer in the sphere. Now, to solve the problem, uh, there is analytical solution available uh, for uh, the mathematical equation, but uh, at undergraduate level, so we are going to solve problems uh, only using the Heisler and Grober chart. And the procedure to solve the problem in the sphere, uh, first we have to calculate the Biot number, so which is HRO by K, where H is the heat transfer coefficient and uh, K is the thermal conductivity of the material, RO is the outer radius of the sphere and calculate the dimensionless position for any given radius r. So, r by r o. Then we calculate the Fourier number uh, f o equal to alpha t by r o square, where alpha is the thermal diffusivity of the material and t is the given time, r o is the outer radius of the sphere. Then calculate the center temperature using the Heisler chart. So, this is the equation. The temperature ratio T O minus T infinity divided by T I minus T infinity, uh, which is a function of Biot number and the Fourier number. So, T I is the initial temperature, T O is the central temperature and T infinity is the temperature of the fluid. And this is the graph, graphical representation of the uh, temperature distribution with respect to the uh, Biot number and the Fourier number. So, the x axis is Fourier number alpha T by R O square. So, y axis is the temperature distribution and the lines for different values of Biot number. So, knowing the Fourier number and the Biot number, uh, we can calculate the temperature distribution and the center line temperature. And for to calculate uh, the temperature at any position, any radius within the sphere, so again from the Heisler chart, we have to take the temperature ratio to calculate the temperatures. Now, here temperature at uh, any given radius minus T infinity divided by uh, T O minus T infinity equal to a function of Biot number and uh, 
the dimensionless position r by r o and here the t is the temperature at any given radius and t o is the center line tem center temperature uh, from the previous calculation and this is the graph uh, temperature time history at any given radius so the x axis is by art number uh, h r o by k and the y axis is the temperature distribution distribution for any given radius and these lines for constant value of the dimensionless position r by r o r by r o equal to 0.2 and r by r o maximum value equal to 1 this is for the surface outer surface and to determine the heat transfer so calculate the initial energy of the sphere with respect to the ambient temperature so the rho is the density uh, uh, of the material kilograms per meter cube c is the specific heat of the material kilojoules per kilogram kelvin of the sphere material and v is the volume of the sphere then q o equal to uh, rho c v into t i minus t infinity now using the grober chart we have to calculate we have to take the value of uh, q by q o and then we have to calculate uh, q value so the grober chart from the grober chart the q by q o is a function of biot number square into fourier number into the and the biot number so this is the grober chart x axis biot number square into fourier number and the y axis is q by q o and the lines for constant values of biot number h r by k so knowing the biot number and the x axis value we can find q by q o then we can calculate the q so these are all the procedure uh, to solve the problem unsteady state one dimensional unsteady state problem uh, in the sphere and now we take uh, the examples to understand our uh, theoretical knowledge and first we take example number one uh, this is from anna university question paper november 2013 an ordinary egg can be approximated as a 5 centimeter diameter sphere the egg is initially at uniform temperature of 5 degrees celsius and is dropped into boiling water at 95 degrees celsius taking h equal to 1200 watts per meter square kelvin k equal to thermal conductivity is 0.627 watts per meter kelvin thermal diffusivity alpha equal to 1.5 10 power minus 5 meter square per second determine how long it will take for the center of the egg to reach 70 degree celsius so you write down the given data the outer radius of the egg which is approximated as a sphere is 0 0.025 meter thermal conductivity is 0 0.627 watts per meter kelvin thermal diffusivity is 1.5 10 power minus 5 meter square per second initial temperature is 5 degree celsius heat transfer coefficient is 1200 watts per meter square kelvin the center temperature is 70 degree celsius and the surrounding fluid temperature is 95 degree celsius so we calculate the biot number so biot number equal to hro by k which is 1200 into 0.025 divided by 0.627 equal to 47.8 and we calculate the temperature ratio at the center uh, to minus t infinity divided by ti minus t infinity equal to 70 minus 95 divided by 5 minus 95 equal to 0.27 now biot number is 47.8 and temperature ratio is 0.27 now refer the graph so temperature ratio is 0.27 biot number is 47.8 and we draw the horizontal line for the uh, temperature ratio it will meet the biot number at uh, 47.8 and you draw the vertical line so the Fourier number is 0.2 and the from the Fourier number, Fourier number equal to alpha t by R O square equal to 0 0.2. So alpha equal to 1.5 10 power minus 5 into t divided by 0 0.025 square equal to 0 0.2. And solving the time equal to 8.28 seconds. And the time required for the egg to boil is 8.25 seconds. And the example number two, an orange of diameter 10 centimeter is initially at a uniform temperature of uh, 30 degrees Celsius is placed in a refrigerator uh, in which the air is air temperature is 2 degrees Celsius. If the heat transfer coefficient is 50 watts per meter square Kelvin, determine the time required for the center of the orange to reach 10 degrees Celsius. Thermal property of the orange K equal to 0.59 watts per meter Kelvin and the alpha equal to 1.4 10 power minus 7 meters square per second. Also calculate the surface temperature during this time and uh, the amount of heat removed from the orange. So the diameter is given as 10 centimeter. The radius outer radius is 0 0.05 meter. Thermal conductivity is 0 0.59 watts per meter Kelvin. Alpha equal to 1.4 10 power minus 1 meter square per second. 
initial temperature is 30 degrees celsius heat transfer coefficient is 50 watts per meter square kelvin the center temperature is 10 degrees celsius and the surrounding fluid temperature is uh, 2 degree celsius and uh, calculating the biot number biot number equal to hro by k uh, which is 15 to 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.59 equal to 4.23 and uh, the temperature at the center so to minus t infinity divided by ti minus t infinity equal to 10 minus 2 divided by 30 minus 2 equal to 0.28 so to calculate the central line temperature so from the graph you find the fourier number which is 0.29 so the to temperature ratio is 0 0.28 draw one horizontal line and biot number is 4.23 so draw the vertical line this is 0.29 and from the Fourier number we calculate the time which is 5178.6 seconds so Fourier number alpha t by r square equal to 0 0.29 which is 1.4 1.4 10 power minus 7 divided by 0 0.05 square so this equal to 5178.6 seconds and to calculate the uh, surface temperature uh, we have to take this graph Heisler chart the biot number is 4.23 uh, for surface of the sphere r by ro equal to 1 now we draw the vertical line and the temperature ratio is 0 0.26 so tro minus t2 divided by 10 minus 2 equal to 0 0.26 so tro equal to 4.08 degree celsius and to calculate the heat transfer amount of heat transfer we use the grober chart so this is the grober chart now the x axis is biot number square into fourier number which is 4.23 square into 0.29 equal to 5.2 and the biot number is 4.23 now for 5.2 you draw one vertical line and it will meet here for the biot number 4.23 and the q by q equal to 0 0.44 now we calculate the heat transfer from the orange so q equal to 0 0.44 times of qo which is 0.44 into rho c into uh, volume is 4 by 3 pi r o 3 pi r o cube into ti minus t infinity uh, substitute in numerical value is 0.044 into 0 0.59 divided by 1.4 into 10 power minus 7 so rho c equal to uh, k by alpha into 4 by 3 pi into 0 0.05 to the power 3 into 10 minus 2 which is 7763.3 watts so the answer to the problem time required for the center of center to reach 10 degrees celsius is 5178.6 seconds and temperature of the surface equal to 4.08 seconds uh, degree celsius and the amount of heat transfer uh, to the fluid is 7763.3 watts so these are all the books i referred for preparing the notes you can refer to it for additional problems or additional information uh, then I have, I have published a book on the subject, you can refer to it for additional uh, example in the sphere and if you have any queries, you can write to me to my mail ID, I will answer to your queries. Thank you, we will meet again.